fishing, just fishing, fishing, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fishing. Chicken jerks. All right, here we go, guys. Beautiful early morning. Uh, sun is just about to peak up. It's not even five yet. Skinner and I are going to run out for stripers. Very early trip. Uh, going to be back soon here at the marina. Got uh, two rods ready. One has a three way, and one I'm going to Todd man it and just use a bucktail, six ounce Skinner bucktail. Goal today is striped bass. Get some bunker jumping in Sterling Harbor here. We'll see how we do. Beautiful morning. Weather's going to turn to crap real fast, so we, we got to be in and out real quick today. All right, here we go, guys. And as you heard in that intro, a striper run with Skinner and I, and this is actually just before we started using spoons. Um, in fact, this was the first trip either one of us had used a spoon. I had dropped it down near the end of the trip. We're not going to show that. It definitely worked. I got bitten off twice um, and dropped a big fish by the boat, but we're not going to show any of that. This is really a more in-depth comparison on the traditional way of fishing stripers by us here in eastern Long Island. On the Long Island Sound, two areas, one called the race, one called Plum Gut. Um, we started at the race and it was dead. And I made the decision to run to the gut uh, and we fished there for about an hour and a half and we had a great trip and Skinner was using three-way bucktails I was using a single bucktail a it started with a six ounce Skinner bucktail I lost it at the race and we moved to a uh, five ounce Skinner bucktail and surprisingly it held and this is an area where the current rips and typically we're using you know 10 to 20 ounces of lead as we're drifting two and a half to five miles an hour into this rip and you'll see a shot of what the rip looks like as we're fishing right here um, and yeah it, it, it was pretty even what I did versus Skinner Now I'd done this before with uh, Todd Mann Long Island Lethals you can see that on his channel on my channel but the difference here was I was getting tangled on that trip with the three-way Todd was using the single bucktail. This was a more even comparison. And I really think a single bucktail is going to be what I use going forward when I'm not using a spoon because those spoons are dang expensive. Uh, but if I'm just using a, a bucktail, I'm going to single bucktail it and I'm probably going to go to a lighter rod with lighter line just to, to help feel better. Hope you enjoy this video. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. Hmm. 70. Still coming up a slope, so 69, 68 and a lot of marks. And you'll hear me throughout the video shouting out numbers to Skinner. More likely than not, that's the depth we're fishing. Well, this is better than the one I caught over there. There's Jack Breeze. What's going on, boys? I, we went to the race. What's up? Bluefish. <laughs> so not what we were intending or what we wanted, but way better than anything we were catching at the first spot, the race. Fifty eight, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty six. I'm on. 
sure this is a blue fish. It's all the way to the top. Nope. Little bass. Seventy four. Sixty eight. A lot of fish marking. Sixty three. I'm on. Oh, this feels better. Let's see. Taking a lot of drag. Fighting like a bass. This is gonna pass if it's a bass. As long as it's not over. Good fish. Ugh. Oh, oh. Hey, you know what? Oh, you are barely hooked. <laughs> five, five, I put a five on. a slot fish and to be clear those are skinner sns fluke bucktails i'm using and the reason i didn't mention this earlier the reason i'm reading out the numbers is this is a very snaggy bottom filled with boulders we're moving fast two and a half to five miles an hour and i you just want to be off that bottom you want to be two cranks off the bottom which is why i'm reading those numbers out and skinner hooks up to a really nice striper here hopefully the right one Maybe. Nice. It's another slot fish. Oh, yeah. just got a bump. Very nice. Well, there you go. Ooh. Got a little bit of shoulder. Very nice. Yeah. And, and you know, Skinner, I brought it yesterday for bass, and I that would be perfect for what I'm doing without the heavy lead. But I'm hanging 10 ass. I know, I know, I know. But th this rod is is stiffer, and I'd, li I'd, I'd have more feel with your rod. And Skinner is using his dark matter fluke rod, which he now, I believe, calls the jig and bounce because it is so versatile. It's for more than just fluke, and you'll see here a, a really quality striper being brought up on that rod. Uh, that's nice. You want me to grab the net? Uh, no, I'll deal with it. It's not that bad. I use 80, so. Oh, okay, okay, I have 50. We 
can give you a hand, Skinner. Well, uh, just a... Nice fish. Eighty-three. You hit him right at about seventy feet before. Eighty. So they're diamond jigging. Drop. Oh. There you go. Wow, this feels good. Yeah, right at, we're at 69 right now, so low 70s this guy hit. My opinion, always good to pay attention to where you hit these fish. Time and time again, they'll hit in that same area. Just has a lot of bend. Whoa. There he goes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice bass. <laughs> Good one, right? Hey, and on that six ounce bucktail. Five, five. Five ounce, no three way. No three way. And the rod I'm using is a Connolly Custom seven foot kingfish rod with custom grips. I had a custom made down in Palm Beach County in Florida. My sister has a place in Boca. I spend a few weeks there every year, every winter. And a great rod, but it, it's a little heavy for this style with a single bucktail. I think a Tsunami Triumph 6.8 Heavy, which is a really light, light, slow pitch rod would work a lot better. 82. 2.5 is the speed. 81. Seventy-eight. Ooh, I'm on. It's like right when we. Wow, another, another good one. It's right when we hit that uh, seventy plateau. Not as big as the other one. I don't know if you. No, 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 this time. Swimming to the front, I wonder. That nah, feels bassy. Well, there was a head shake. Ah, have a bad feeling, Skinner. No, it's a bass, the keeper. little over 28 and we're going to end the video with another shot of us running out in the morning because i can't get enough of this scenery look at the end of the day skinner and i each finished with three keepers on this day again an hour and a half of fishing at plum gut for those of you that fish these areas plum gut the race or an area near you that has these strong currents where you're usually three weighing it with you know 10 to 20 ounces of lead have you ever tried a single bucktail and if you have how did you do? Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing.